Hello and welcome to a simple tutorial of why Feline for Unreal. I've created the most simple project which I could to show you how to create actions and considerations for your utility AI in Blueprints. This is a blank template project. I've installed Vice Feline in my engine already and I have enabled it here in the plugins window as you can see. What the project does is that when you basically go to our test map, it executes two actions called first action and second action, which they just print a message. But how it does that? What you need is a pawn, first of all. The pawn needs to have a AI controller, of course. I have assigned an AI controller called test controller to it. And I create a test controller by just simply right click and then go to blueprint class. And here, go to all classes, type AI controller. And then name it. And then, of course, you could edit it. Then, the only component that you have to have is a WF brain component, which is for vice feline. And this component requires an AI behavior to execute. It can have an array of them. I've created one already, I'll show you how in a second. You assign the desired behavior to it, and then it will be controlled by that AI. It doesn't have any logic at the moment, but the other one which I've made has. To, to create the behavior, what you need to do is to basically, uh, let me delete this controller which we are not actually using. We are using this which I've already made and has the same components. I'll show you what, what I've done in this blueprint later. I've created a blackboard for our AI parameters. Uh, it only contains a key called health for now and AI controllers have their own blackboard component is hidden So you cannot see it, but you can get it in blueprint To create the behavior you just do right click and then vice feline line and then behavior and then name this behavior whatever you want and then in the behavior you can add actions like this and then to an action you can add a consideration like this but how to code the actions and the considerations for a behavior which you assign to a brain component the behavior that I've made before is here has two actions called first and second and uses a single consideration for both and the message just prints a message uh, how did I do that? first the action because it's easy to delete this one to satisfy my OCD okay the action when you want to create one, what you do, you go again to Blueprint class, type WF action for all classes and then select it and create one as I did before. We're not going to do this now. I've already made an action. It has a few functions to override, as you can see, and I've overridden the tick function, which executes every frame if you check the should tick. For the action and what it does is that it prints a message which i have here as a variable to the screen it's nothing special there are other 
functions to override. On begin play is called once when the actor spawns or the game begins. On activate is called whenever this action is selected uh, for the first frame. And on deactivate is called whenever this action is uh, unselected basically every frame. Uh, actions could have targets and like for example the shoot action is targets and you provide a list of targets by overriding this uh, on update targets. But here I just wanted to print a message every frame so I just override and uh, uh, tick and that's it. But actions need a score to see when they should execute and for that we need considerations. Uh, and the consideration basically is again if you want to create one you go to open class and type wf consideration all classes and select and create one and what consideration does is that it has only a single important method to override called get value uh, and get value should return something between zero and one As you can see, it first, first calls its parent get value, and then that's uh, connected to the end result. But like that's not important. We are going to basically get our black our controller, and then get its blackboard, and then read the health value that we defined in the blackboard, and I'll show you. Uh, and when you read the health value here. Uh, then we normalize it between 0 and 100 so because we know it should be between 0 and 100 so 70 would return 0 0.7 and 85 would return 0 0.85 and the result will be a number between 0 and 1. You could do whatever else you want you could like calculate the distance between you and your target you could read a, directly a property you property from the actor whatever. I hear read the blackboard value. But ah, uh, you need to do something else to be able to use blackboards. You don't have to, but if you want to uh, use blackboards like we did here, you need to basically uh, in your AI controller, you know, begin play, tell it to use blackboards, and then show the blackboard asset that you wanted to use, which I did declared there. And I showed you the, this blackboard, which contains like a, only a float value, which is health. Uh, now my actions need a different health value, so a different action gets selected. So what I do is that here in tick, with a delay, I set the value of health to different things two times, uh, like to a random value. Uh, so basically, the action changes. Uh, the random value is between 0 and 100 and I set it to the health key which is a name literal as I created here and uh, I get the blackboard using get black or not so uh, I get the blackboard and then set its float value and then it asks me okay what float do you want it to set and I set this one health and it asks me what value it should have and I uh, give it a random number between 0 and 100 but I do not do this every tick so the action changes are easier to see so i apply a delay of half a second to it uh what else uh ah the action curves and behavior behavior side so the behavior when i created it and added these two actions to uh, the first action i told it to execute with a consideration I named black or I could name it whatever like check health doesn't matter and I should tell it when to execute and that's the job of this curve and that consideration check the health blackboard uh, which I added uh, and the name doesn't matter the class which consideration is based on matters we only have one here this one uh, now, now if I click add this class will be added as a second consideration here don't want it and here you have copy paste and delete and everything uh, so this consideration uh, as basically the value of mm, health goes to one the score uh, moves toward one as well mostly linear uh, and the other action I wanted it to basically execute uh, so, so as health goes toward one the first action 
it's interesting to execute and the second action I what I did was that I created a binary curve there's a checkbox here which if you t if you don't think here you can add keys basically uh, but if you tick it then your curves becomes binary and I told it okay if the score of the consideration was less than or equal 5.0 return 1 otherwise return 0 I have other operators here so I could say okay if it was not equals to 5.0 but I want less than or equal uh, well if I also if I could if I wanted to I could say 0 0.3 and the curve updates in real time as you can see now the result of this should be that second action would execute much less than the first action because whatever random value greater than 0 0.3 would give a 0 to this while the other action have at least some like 0 0.2 or some score so let's see to see why an action is getting executed you can use this wise fill and debugger and now you can see the score of each action and why the score is like that so Second action, as you can see, most of the time the score is 0 because the value is higher than 0 0.3, the value of health, which is being set randomly. Uh, but first, because it has a linear curve, it at least has some value, and uh, yeah, the one at the top gets executed, and you can see the message here uh, about what action is getting executed. And if I wanted to change the messages, I could simply go to test behavior and let's say this action should print on now Oops. I closed my Unreal. Now, when I execute the game, basically it should print that message instead of uh, first action. Oh, but let's see. set this map as the default for the project yet so yeah see the message has changed